I've seen a handful of videos reviewing this tent, but I haven't seen any yet for this specific tent. So I'm gonna do a whole unboxing video. This is the newer brand. I also bought the corresponding tent footprint specifically for this tent. So let's try that out. All right, we've got the footprint out. First um, opinion is it looks really nice here. It's got these elastics in the corner. I'm sure there's a purpose for those. And somewhere where there was a tag on the bottom side for orientation. There it is. I think I've got it oriented the right way. I assume the tags are supposed to be towards the ground. Tag there. We've got the tent out of the box. Comes in this nice duffel here. Um, open it up and check it out. So we've got the tent mostly laid out here. What I did want to show is that there's these nice chunks of cardboard here protecting the mesh netting um, and shipping from these hard plastic pieces. I thought that was kind of nice. It's definitely suggest a box cutter or a knife of some sort if you're setting up for the first time here. There's pretty much on every joint. I've already cut some off, but there's some more down there. I'm gonna cut all these off and finish setting up. Wow, this is huge. So I haven't done any staking out yet. It's pretty easy to just kind of tug it out. I think I would probably stake this corner and this corner here and then come around and uh, tug it tight on this side. So these, these things here are as simple as you just push and they telescope in. Let me see if I can zoom out. So when you're setting up, not exactly a one-handed job. Can you hold that, buddy? You like that? Thank you. So see how this is depressed? You just pull apart and it snaps out and locks into place. It feels really sturdy. Um, I've got signs here for the rain fly. This is where the rain fly is going to go. Um, I think I kind of set it up backwards, but the way we're going to be using it in the yard here, we want to use this entrance. So got these nice um, joint covers here. I assume that's to protect these pop-out joints. So let's uh, go inside and open it up. We've got a little uh, rug for our shoes here. I don't see any way to stake it out, but in theory we could just slip off our shoes. So this is huge inside here. Absolutely massive. Completely open mesh top here. I've got, yeah, buddy. I've got loops here for lamp trims. Really nice large windows, and this. Oh, yeah. This is our air intake. I'm a little skeptical about this, just because I'm worried about wind blowing in. It looks like I've got a way to secure it here. I might end up adding some Velcro. Um, just to get a little bit of security. Got some storage pockets in the corners. I assume these are probably for a room divider. The floor material feels really nice and thick. Um, good, good fabric here. So let's um, open up the screen room. I do like this. There's a way to secure it at the top so this isn't just going to be flapping in the wind. Really nice smooth zippers. Let's see. 
I've got a nice uh, latch here so I can roll this up and secure it back up out of the way. So we've got the D-door style entrance here. Nice smooth one-handed zipper. We can also open this window up. And we get another mostly full-size screen here. Really impressed with the zippers so far. So there's our half D door. Another window here. There's our air vent. Another window right here. And then this, I believe, has another latch style here. We could latch this off. Wow. Really nice. Oh, hi, buddy. Really nice big screen. And here is our T door. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I do like this. There's a nice gap here. Um, this doesn't quite look like it's going to be easy to close from the inside. Let's see. Oh, I do have a zipper in here. Okay. Elliot, I'm zipping this up, buddy. Please stop. So we're gonna kind of meet in the middle here. This is an area I was particularly concerned about with water coming in. It looks like we've got this elastic um, lip that comes up here and covers. We've got a three zipper area, and then on the outside, to show you from the outside, it has Velcro, so we can Velcro this together from the outside as well. Another feature on this D-door I really like is there's two zippers here, so we don't have to come all the way up and around. We want to just kind of sneak out the side here. We don't have to take the one zipper all the way up and around. That's pretty nice. From the outside here on the D-door, we also have this um, lip style around the zipper. And meet up here. Really nice zippers. Okay, so we've got it all staked out now. Here's that T style door. Nice overlap and Velcro on the zipper area. We can um, Velcro on the way. Here. Looks like we've got some tie outs here if we wanted to pull the screen back, keep the screen opened. Let's look at you know, the floor nicely stretched out. We've got so much room. We got this air intake open that's this whole side of the tent to let some cold air in. There's our D door. I am overall super impressed with this tent. Love it. We're also noticing on the floor here in the stakeout areas, we've got some reinforced um, stitching in the points where there is pressure applied from the stakes. That is super nice. There's our e-port. Super tight Velcro. Um, weatherproofing, I'm not sure um, if that's going to show, but I can see nice weatherproofing along the seams. And overall, super happy. Walk around. We've got the whole screened area here. D door with our floor mat. E port. We've got two here. Here's that air intake. I'm going to stake this part out. And there was that closure up inside there with that string to secure it. I think I might put some Velcro strips along here and then just for a little bit of a better seal. There's two here. There is the back side of the tent. Nice window, big screen porch. I think now we're going to put the rain fly on and um, see what we think about that.
Okay, so we've got the rain fly on. I would definitely say if you know you're going to be putting it on, I would do it before you telescope these poles up. Um, one person <laughs> was a little tricky, but we got it done. So these parts here My help, Mom. just snap right into this. So I've got two on each corner, and then I've got one in the center here. And we can kind of, we got a little bit of adjustment here with this. And then you've got guy lines on each corner. So here's this corner. We've got our screen opened up. Um, reinforced in the corners. And I, I've come to find out, I think that there's this padding here is for the rain fly. So we're not poking holes in the rain fly. I help, Mama. Um, we have not yet put the... Um, pole in here. So we'll have to go back and do that. It looks like it just attaches right in this grommet here to here. We'll go do that and update. I don't know if we just got lucky with <laughs> the orientation. It looks like we did. So there's not one on this corner. So there definitely is a right way and a wrong way and it looks like we just got lucky. So we're gonna guy it out and tighten things down. We've also got a spot for a pole here. Grommets and the pole's gonna go here. Let's do it. I was not paying attention and there is a longer pole and a shorter pole and I've got the longer one in here which turns out to be incorrect. <laughs> and it looks really silly. It looks like it's wearing a hat. So pay attention to that. Your short pole goes on your T door and your long pole goes on your D style door. Okay, we've got the right size one in here now and it looks a lot better. Um, I'm gonna tighten down all these tensioner straps now. I'm probably going to start in that corner and then kind of go crisscross. We'll see how that works out. Overall, we're really happy with this tent. Um, can't wait to get it out and see what it has to offer. Add a couple pictures later with uh, our gear inside. All right, so I've got a queen size air mattress on this side. I've still got comfortably probably two to three feet here, probably three to four feet here. And I've got two kids' air mattresses over here. As you can see, plenty of space to move about. Um, really just super happy with this tent.